So, the reason why Native Americans and Natives are actually the true Israelites is because we're the ones that actually wrote the New Testament and the Old Testament. I'm going to put a link in the description where you can actually see that we actually wrote the creeds, wrote the, the New Testament and the Old Testament. And the King James Bible is a false lie because it was indulged by another writer. And the great spirit is named Gitchi Manitou, the great I am, the great Ahi. And the name is Ahi, they have so much different translations in different languages. Haya Haya Ho, you know what I mean? Or Haya Asher Haya, or Haya Asher Haya. And like we used to sing like that too. Hey-ya, 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 hey-ya. Hey-ya, 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 hey-ya. Hey-ya, 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 hey-yo, hey-yo. Hey-yo, 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 hey-yo. Hey-yo, 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 ho, hey-yo, ho. See, like it has higher in it, higher, yes, higher, higher, ho, higher, hey, higher, ho, higher, ho, higher, hey, higher, hey, yo. Like it has similar chanting and similar words, just that our native language is actually a derivative of Hebrew. It's actually a derivative of Hebrew, of, uh, of the Hebrew and if you look at the chanting in Hebrew on YouTube and you can see the chanting like the actual chants you'll see that it's almost similar like na and ha and hey and wa and twa and pwa and pwe and a and as and everything and we we chanted the most high word back in the day we were able to call upon the Spirit of God he did the great flood. He did the great, the Gucci man too, the great spirit did the great flood. And his name was actually not Noah. In our translation, his name was actually Nanabush. Nanabush was on the boat and he made Turtle Mountain. He made Turtle Mountain. Canada and the United States was Turtle Mountain. He made, he made um, Turtle Mountain and also there was uh, other Remember that there was other like mountains that was here before. And the native and the Crees, the Jibboys were the first people. And we just lost our our past our past um we just lost our past history because of the Europeans whitewashed the Bible. But we translated we translated our our texts and rewrote the Bible. The in the Book of Enoch was stolen because they they wanted us to praise to Jesus, which is the false Messiah, which is actually Na is the actual name Na in the Hebrew dialect in the N dialect. Na is means savior. Na. That's why you hear a lot of people in the reservation, they go, nah, boy, nah. they're teaching the Bible too. Because they know about it. Even when they go, tss, tss, they got that from the native people. Because they knew about the snake. They knew about the devil. The de in our language, the devil is Magi Manadu. Manadus are bad. Like, goos are bad. Goos are bad. Like, when the goos are, or when the goos are, um, like goos and doos are bad in uh in our in our language. And we knew about it and we translate it for people to understand. And when we speak in tongues and we pray when we're healing, when we have walking energy, we're actually walking with the spirit of God. You have to walk with the spirit of God. Okay? So, God spoke, God came to me, and he told me to tell you that you have to connect with God more. You have to connect with God more. Because this is how far you are from God. 
This is how close I am with God. I am this close from God and I, you are this far from God. You want to connect with God. You want to connect with God and pray to Nah or pray to Yeshaya, Savior. Because Nah in my language means someone who saves. That's what Nah means. <clears throat> someone who saves or Savior. Okay, and, and I'm going to put the description down below. I'm tribe of Gad and I'm tribe of I'm tribe of Gad and I'm not I wasn't cursed because I believed in God since I was seven years old. I was never cursed. I was only cursed with like alcohol and weed. I used to like to sleep and you know I was learning about God my whole life and I just walked away and now I just came back and I'm studying the Bible more and trying to go to church again and Learn and I want to have more power and to heal. To give energy, to give power. Because I have that power. And creator is watching over me. And I'm not, I'm not afraid of these demons. I'm not afraid of these entities. And I've been walking with God. That's why I have these abilities. And that's why I have a lot of knowledge. Because I'm the creator, the Manitou, the great spirit, the great Ahaya and given me these gifts and whatnot. And I just wanted to speak up about this. Because I believe in God. And I'm spiritual. I can talk to spirits. I can talk to my ancestors. I can talk to animals. I can talk to um, nature. And it says in the Bible that the true Israelites will actually wake up with power. It actually says that. And it is all say that You'll have the seven spirits of God. The seven spirits of God is actually the chakras. And when I'm talking about the thine eye, it's actually talking about your spiritual eye. You'll see spiritual energy in the air when you wake up. And that's what it's talking about, the thine eye. If thine eye be a single in Matthew 6, 22, 23. And it talks about that. And yeah. Anyway, shalom, God bless, and have a good day, and peace out, God bless. I hope you guys learned a lesson today. Wake up and keep being blessed with God's gifts.